coming along. So tell me how you see the business landscape and investment environment as it is today. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here on this podcast. Brazil has been coming from a process that really started in 1994 uh, when it started to control inflation and not really just this uh, recent history of leaving the recession 2015 to 16. Brazil was able to start in 1994 a uh, economic policy that has been followed by governments from right wing and left wing and they, it brought the country to the situation where it is today which is a very positive and stable uh, economic background with a very low interest rate and low inflation. But that said, Brazil is a country that still has a lot of structural changes to be done. And that's probably the main reason why we are not seeing a very strong growth uh, in these last years. Fortunately, this new government is working to uh, get such uh, structural changes approved. The most important of them right now is the Social Security reform, which is in its track, on its track to get approved. Mm -hmm. And this uh, Social Security reform, it's uh, probably going to be the biggest fiscal uh, restructuring that Brazil has lived in its uh, modern economy. So I think we're not yet in a moment where we can see strong growth coming from GDP numbers in Brazil, but definitely it's a very positive macro environment right now. Why do you think